the Towton Novices Chase is next. And this is a great two novice whenever I see the word novice in there. Title before the thing comes up on Dredd, because I think there's only going to be about two or three runners, but at least we've got about eight in this one. Uh, top, we've got Art Teacher for Leon Van Rensburg, A Caster Malbis, Darren Thompson, Come on, Blue Chips, Stu Gray, Dawn Ranger, David Robertson, Master of Shadows, Joshua Sutherland, Runner on Empty, Craig Allen, Wouldn't It Be Good, Leon Van Rensburg, Dawn of Lust, Joshua Sutherland, Finding Alice Martin, Leader and Selections for Craig Allen. So, ten then. It's a pretty good sized field for a novice this season. And away they go. After thrills and spills of the Moors Millions, this one might be just as exciting considering it's a novice chase and we've had three exciting novice races this season. Lots of fours and interesting things going on as they get to the first of the 22 with 22 fences. You wouldn't put a lot of money on all 10 of them getting round, would you? But it's Acasta Malbis who's clearing the lead. And they're all safely over. Number two, with the runner on empty. The back marker and Acaster Malbis is not hanging about and has quickly gone six clear going into fence number three. And the speed might catch one or two of these out. Leon van Rensburg's art teacher is in second, just ahead of Master of Shadows. Then wouldn't it be good as they take the next? And they're all safe now with that one with already 20 lengths first to last. And come up past the stand. And they've got to go around another twice yet with Acaster Malbis in the lead. Uh, wouldn't it be good second and then master of shadows and art teacher then a gap to about five of them in a line with finally runner on empty just the back marker at this very early stage of the race but acaster malbis doesn't want to appear to be doesn't, doesn't appear to want to be out in the rain at all and wants to get him back in as quickly as possible and he's racing away with this at the moment six or seven clear oh, art teacher and master of shadows wouldn't it be good is the second Leon Van Rensburg horse in fourth. In comes Selections, the first of Craig Allen's with on its inside David Rawson's Dawn Rangers. They all get over number five, they're all jumping well so far. And with the exception of the leader there, pretty closely grouped as well. And Castor Malbus over that ditch in front. A fast jump by a Master of Shadows in second. Then Art Teacher and Selections, and then Dawn Ranger on the inside of Wouldn't It Be Good? Dawn of Lust, the second Joshua Sutherland horses after that one. And then a really good jump there on the inside by Runner on Empty. I've seen it go by Come On Blue Chip and Finding Alice. Oh, and there's a fall of there. Dawn of Lust has gone. And you wouldn't have put money on one of the Joshua Sutherland horses being the first one to hit the deck. You know, put the money on it being mine or Stu's, I would have thought. But as they get over number nine, it's Acaster Malbis who's in the lead. From Master of Shadows second, Art Teacher is third. And wouldn't it be good for Dawn Ranger 5, then Selections, and then Runner on Empty, and then the commentators' charges, Stu Gray's Come On Blue Chip, and my Finding Alice at the back. And right, Castam Alvis then is clear, and only by 5 now, to Art Teacher in 2nd, and Master of Shadows 3rd, Dawn Ranger is 4th, and wouldn't it be good? In between the two Craig Allen horses. So they get over number 10. Bit of a slow jump there by Finding Alice and come on Blue Chip at the back. But Acaster Malbis is well clear. It's over that ditch. Oh, and Finding Alice has gone. She's uh, done that a few times this season. She managed to pick up a win earlier in the season as well, though, so I'll complain too much as they get over number 12. And Acaster Malbis is in front. Master of Shadows second, Art Teacher is third, then wouldn't it be good as they get over the next? They're all safely over that. Come on, Blue Chip running a big race for Stu Gray as they come past the winning post then. One more circuit to go in the Townsend Novices chase and Acaster Malbis has led all the way so far. Master of Shadows is second, Art Teacher is third, wouldn't it be good is four. Dawn Ranger is five, Runner Empty is six, and then come on, Blue Chip seven and Selections is just the back marker the eight that remain and a Castam Alvis in the rain clearing the lead and Art Teacher second Master of Shadows and Dawn Ranger and Runner on Empty and wouldn't it be good just been given a bit of a breather as they take over number 14 and over that one they go and now wouldn't it be good just being switched around the outside the Craig Allen pair after that, run on empty and selections, and come on, blue chips sticking on at the back as they get over number 15. 
which they're all over safely. And Acaster Malwis is leading as short as it's been now. Jockey's just scrubbing him along a little bit. He's only two lengths to the good as they get over number 16. Up into second, Master of Shadows on the outside. Then comes Art Teacher and Dawn Ranger. Over the 17th they go. Alcaster Malvis is still jumping well in the lead though. Master of Shadows, Art Teacher and Dawn Ranger. Then a gap back to Runner on Empty and Wouldn't It Be Good Selections. And come on, Blue Chip. Over this ditch. And over that one they go. And they all got over that one nicely as well with Acaster Malvis in the lead by about a length and a half. Two Master of Shadows in second. Art Teacher on the inside. Side is third, Dawn Ranger is fourth. Gap back to Runner on Empty, who looks anything but a Runner on Empty at the moment. He's running on really strongly. Then comes Wouldn't It Be Good Selections and come on, Blue Chip at the back. But it's Acaster Malbis who's still in the lead as they begin the long sweeping turn into the home straight. And Acaster Malbis is three or four clear again of Art Teacher in second. Then comes Master of Shadows, Dawn Ranger and Runner on Empty. Then Wouldn't It Be Good looks like it's between these as they come down towards the next end now. This is going to be the 19th of the 22, and it's Acaster Malbis gets over it in front from Master of Shadows and Art Teacher. Then comes Runner on Empty, Dawn Ranger, wouldn't it be good trying to run on still as well? They're coming down towards the third from then now another ditch over it they go, and Acaster Malbis is still in front. Acaster Malbis from three lengths clear of Master of Shadows in second. Art Teacher on the inside is third, over the second last they go, and Acaster Malbis is not stopping. He's still going well in the lead, coming down towards the final fence, there's only a short run in. Acaster Malbis gets over it nicely, but here comes Master of Shadows, and Master of Shadows Sweeps on the outside, a master of shadows. Time to perfection steals it on the line for Acaster Malvis. In second, it's close between the little one. Rensburg pair for third. Wouldn't it be good art teacher? Dawn Ranger, runner on empty. And come on, Blue Chip might have beat the selections. And Acaster Malvis all the way. And after jumping the last, Joshua Sutherland's master of shadows just jumps past him. And the jockey even had a sneaky little look over his shoulder. So how much of that got in the tank? That's thrown down the gauntlet for the RSA next week. Uh, Master of Shadows for Joshua Zulder is doing it. Acaster Malbis for Darren Thompson second. Wouldn't it be good for Leon Van Rensburg back in third? Art Teacher for the same trainer fourth. And Dawn Ranger for David Robertson was fifth.